All right, this is the exercise 25.49. It gives you some information about pure silicon. It says that there's 10 to the 16th free electrons per cubic meter in it. it Ask you to go to a table and then calculate the mean free time for silicon at room temperature. So that table, um, the information, the important part of this table is right here. Pure silicon, what's highlighted in yellow. And this gives you the resistivity of pure silicon. That's what that number is, which is in ohm meters. And so mean free time, you're going to need an equation that if you are like me, you have not used before, this question at least. And that's uh, P over M and E squared T. So this P is resistivity, not power. So it just keeps switching. So that's supposed to be a lowercase italic P, as I'm sure you can tell from my handwriting. This E is the a charge of an electron. M is mass of electron, I feel like you can get that. T is time, and N is the value they gave us. That's concentration, um, which is the only number they gave you in the intro. So, on a mass of an electron, you are of course gonna get to need to know that. 9.1 times 10 to the negative 31st charge of electron. That is, we're using absolute value because we're squaring it, but it's negative 1.9 times 10 to the negative 19th. Uh, n is what they give you up here in the front, 1 times 10 to the 16th. And resistivity is what's in the table, so all that's left to do here is put it into your equation and solve for t. 2300 equals 9.1 times 10 to the negative 31st over 10 to the 16th times 1.9 times 10 to the negative 19th squared t and then solve for t and you get 1.5 times 10 to the negative 12 and that is in seconds so part b ooh. um ask this answer you just got is much larger than mean free time for copper uh, and then why does it have such a high resistivity compared to copper so if you look N for copper, you have to Google this to find it, is 8.5 times 10 to the 28th. And this is compared to the N for silicon they gave us of 1 times 10 to the 16th. So, so yes, N of copper is much larger than N of silicon. Once again, 10 to the 16th. So when you're looking at the answer options, the first line of them, I think A and B were like N is bigger for copper than silicon, which obviously is the true one. C and D are wrong because it says N is smaller for copper than silicon. And then the next part is ask you about charge density um, as it relates to power. So power, this is the big, this is not P up, not power. Um, resistivity, little p equals E over J. So you can see that if J goes up, this is charge density, the resistivity is gonna go down because the numerator gets really big, so you're dividing by a big number. If the charge goes down, you're dividing by a really small number, so P goes up. So the answer, as it is directly quoted from it when you search, is the number of free electrons as copper is much larger than in pure silicon, which is this N part. And then it says, thus, the density of free electrons in silicon is smaller. A smaller density of current carriers means a higher resistivity, which is this part. Lower current means higher resistivity. So that one is the answer for part D.